Hello guys, how are you all doing this fine evening? Well, it's the 9th of February, haven't made a good tea video in about two days. So I thought I should give you an update on the collection, see how it's doing so far. Okay, so let's get started. So, a couple molts I had, uh, which actually is pretty awesome, so I'd like to share with you. Okay, so one of my Avic Avics molted when I did the transfer video. I did notice that it lied on its back and wouldn't you know it, it molted. So, skin is over here and there's the T. There she be. It's around three quarters of an inch right now. This is, they're actually doing very well in my collection. At least these are one of the two toughest Avics that I have. You can see there's a little small one here. As you can see, cross ventilation and keep it relatively moist. That's uh, pretty much um, what I'm doing so far. And here's me handling her. These are one of the cute Avix. It's got a really gentle disposition. Definitely calmer than in that Alita that I handled a couple of days ago. Alrighty, so I just cleaned your terrarium, so time to put you back in there. <laughs> Whoop! They jump. Alright, man, I just got it in there. Pretty cute. Okay, so there's two. Yeah, okay, then another T of mine molted. Uh, which one was it? Yeah, the Fulpus Rufescens, the Burgundy Skeleton, let's see, Shorty. Yeah, this is Renee. Yeah, look how big she got. So the T's over there, the molted skin is up above. I'm assuming now she's probably a good inch and a quarter. So the pill vial is still good on the species. Hmm, relatively fast growing a full puss. Uh, okay, so that's all that I have seen in pr pr that molted already. One's in post molt or pre molt. Sorry, pre molt. Yeah, gotta get the terms right. Uh, is this one here my Pierminia Josie? Uh, I can see there's a lot of webs that she built. So usually, whenever I see her do that, that means that she's going to be prepping for a molt soon. There's the H. Lividum, freshly molted a couple of weeks ago. Nandu Tripepi still has not molted yet. Oh, that's true then. Daisy still has not molted yet, she's in pre-molt. And so is Scarlet. Right over there, that's my uh, Bracky Palma Smithy Mexican Redney, 4 inch uh, female. Scarlet is actually pretty special to me. She was the first uh, Smithy Sling that I raised. I think she was like an inch and a half when I first bought her back in 2007, and four years later, she's like four inches. Her last molt, I kid you not, I did record this on YouTube. Uh, it was August 2nd of 2009, so she is well due for a mold. Can't wait for that to happen. Okay, there's G Rosé red color form. Gretel is looking mighty fat. I might actually pair her up very soon, probably this weekend, uh, because Hans made another sperm web, looks like it. So we're gonna pair him up again. That should be pretty interesting. There's uh, P. Formosa, better video of uh, Avic Avic, sorry Versicolor, <laughs> a Versicolor, the one that I got from Shanrock777, a lovely female, very cute Avic, uh, P. Concerides, a huge one, oh cool, try an update on this one right here. 
Uh, Pokeltheria Peterson I Ghost Ornamental. This may look like a female. Can't be sure on this one. Tigrina with Sally still has not molted yet. Uh, there's the Aleta that I handled. Absolutely gorgeous species. Although very dull looking. Camera Ruby doesn't pick it up, but Shamrock77 had the best uh, description of her. Like, they have like pink highlights around their whole body and orange hairs. Really awesome Avic, and I think these are possibly one of the easiest ones to take care of. Uh, gonna have to transfer the Striata very soon. My Sword Ornamental. Update on P. Smithy. And so forth, yeah. I will have a Mythbuster soon on this species right here. This is the um, new one, the Lenotheli megalothelodes. It's a diplorid. Sweet collection. So, the new videos are will be coming up very soon. Um, I did get some new crickets and superworms. So I have 100 fresh superworms here and 300 fresh crickets here. So I'm going to be doing tarantula feeding video 63 on Saturday. So Saturday you're going to expect to have uh, good videos. I'm possibly going to continue mating the T. Sturmy and probably on Sunday I will try to attempt the first mating of the P. Camerjai if all goes well. And I believe that's about it for now. I'm going to be on spring break uh, on the week of the February 21st to the 25th. So I'll be able to upload a huge video, the February Arachnator video of all the tarantulas I have. So you'll be able to see uh, how many teas I own and give you an update on what's going to happen. Uh, so that is pretty much all that I have so far. Like I said, the P. Metallica, March 2nd, it's, uh, he's going to go away to Armando. Uh, currently, now I'm not selling any more of my T. Gigaslings. I pretty much sold all of the ones that I needed to. Yep. And I'll end off with one of my favorite teas. People have asked me how, what is my favorite tea in all my collection. Well, hands down, this is the winner. Uh, Pocotheria Barra. Commonly called Polcothera Sefusca Lowland, which is the ivory ornamental. I mean, to be honest with you, I love the Smort and P. Metallica with the black colors, the purple highlights on the carapace and on the legs. It's got some gold highlights around the legs. It's black colored. It's beautiful. And I also have the Highland 2, which I'm like we suspect is a female right over here let's give you an idea of what they look like I don't want to open up the cage because uh, this one's very fast but honestly these pokies, the Safuscas and the Mirandas are absolutely the calmest pokies compared to the um, Miranda and the fascia uh, no sorry the Ornata and the Fasciata. These are pretty mean in my opinion. And I think that's pretty much it. So I hope you enjoyed this video guys. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for another Mythbuster video probably tomorrow. And I haven't decided which ones to do yet, so uh, I'm probably most likely going to touch over the Samapoa species. Talk more about those. Alright guys, till then.